Welcome back. As you know, Election Day is not that far away and here to talk about some of the things that you need to know when you walk into that polling place are some women from the Charleston, South Carolina uh, Lynx chapter to kind of help us out and let us know what's going on. We have Miss Tamara Curry and Miss Marguerite Archie Hudson. That's Thank you right. so much for being here with Thank us. Thank you for inviting us. Why is this particular election so important? Sometimes people don't come out to elections to vote if it's not a presidential race. Why is this one so important? Well, I think this one is important because it is going to change so much in both Charleston and in North Charleston. And so one of the reasons we as Lynx, who are a national ser public service organization and Greater St. Louis AME, AME Church. decided that we needed to get together and create some forums, and we thank you for hosting one of them, so that we could get this community to understand that these are really important elections. If you just think about North Charleston, for example, where for the first time in about 20 years, a little, probably there a little will, more than that. Right, there is going to be a brand new late mayor. That's the third largest city in South Carolina. But more importantly than that, North Charleston is structured so that there are 10 people running. It's a lot of people running. One of them is going to be mayor. That person can be elected by just one vote. Imagine that. Imagine one it. One vote. So every person that is, that is going to go to the polls needs to understand that that might be the person that elects the person who is elected. And that person who is elected may be person, somebody who knows very little about governing a city. And that's very interesting. So really, one vote really one does vote. matter. One, one vote. vote. One vote. Every person who goes to the poll on November 7th or who votes early or whatever is a person who might make that choice. Wow. And a prime example of that is a couple of weeks ago, we had an election for District um, 42. The person for the state who. Senate. For the state Senate race. The person who won that race won by 12 votes. That's right. 12 votes decided that. But what we're trying to change also is there wasn't more than 5,000 people who even voted in that race. There were a potential of 53,000 people who could have voted. And we want people to understand that when you don't vote, you don't have a voice. And your voice matters, and it matters not only in presidential elections, but in local elections also who sits on our school boards, who our local council individuals are, who our state and house representatives are. And we want to make sure that people understand who the candidates are, what their platforms are, so that they can make an informed decision when they go in the polls and vote for whomever they choose, whatever party they choose to um, that that person comes from. Very important stuff. And so a lot of times we talk about voter disenfranchisement, but in these situations, the voters disenfranchise themselves. So how do you get people interested, excited to be a part of the electoral process? Well, I think, first of all, organizations like ours, the Links, the Greater St. Link, St. Luke AME Church, and all of the organizations that we parted, partnered with, the League of Women Voters, the NAACP, the organizations. Panel and Council. And the Panel and Council, to offer forums, for example, and other ways in which people, we brought those forums to the community. And we were able to say to people, pay attention to what these these people who are going to represent your government do, because as Tammy say, mo says, most times they have no idea that the mayor, for example, is the overall executive of the city, but the person who's going to worry about your trash, your drainage, your public safety, those are the people you elect to the city council, and people don't know that. So part of what we're trying to do with these forums is giving people an opportunity to look at who's going to be elected, but also have them understand what these people do. Ladies, thank you so much for being here to talk with us and to share with our audience just how important this process is, the right that we have, don't take it for granted. Study the candidates, study the issues, and get out there and vote.